Hey guys, so I decided today to do a not for sure if it's going to be like a chit chat video or just a talk through video because I have a couple things I want to talk to you about but I don't think it's enough where I can be talking the whole video. So I think I'm going to do a talk through. It's like not a voiceover, just me talking in real video and then some chit chat as well because there is some things I want to talk about. It's mainly just going to be about like fitness and weight loss and stuff because I know that's why a lot of you watch my videos just hoping that Natalie will make more fitness videos because I fell off the face of the earth with fitness for a couple months almost a year probably but I'm back don't worry so and I also have some products from Colourpop that I'm gonna try out today and my hair is a mess um I slept on it wet last night and it just kind of turns into this like frizzy don't know what it is um but I decided I decided not to do my hair just to make this even more real so yes, um, yeah, I'm not going to start with color pop yet because we're doing the face. So I already primed and prepped and for moisturizer I use a Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. And then for primer I use the Wet n Wild which this stuff is like literally gone. I have to squeeze it so hard to get anything out. Um, I have an e.l.f. order coming and then I'm going to try out a lot of their primers and stuff so I'm really excited for that. And the lighting might change throughout the video because right now i think there's enough lighting outside that i can film with just window lighting but it's gonna get dark soon because it gets dark really fast and the sun never shines here i swear so i will turn on my lights later i'm gonna go ahead and get into a foundation which i forgot to wet my beauty blender what's new i'm actually gonna use a brush i haven't used a brush to apply my foundation in a hot minute i think i'm finally at my winter shade so this is the tar amazonian clay full coverage foundation in the color fair sand but yeah back to fitness there's a lot of videos i want to do and one of them is a fitness routine which i have only been going to the gym for like three days now and i've well this gym i've only been to this gym like three days now but no matter what gym it is i pretty much stuck with the same routine i've done since i lost all my weight in the first place like years ago and the gym i go to is 24 7 and i have a really messed up sleep sleeping schedule at the moment so i go to the gym like at one o'clock and midnight midnight like 11 30 and midnight and stuff like that i know it's crazy and i go to bed like at 4 a.m so yeah so uh, i will have maybe my mom come with me and film my gym routine for me we'll see how that works out wow that is disgusting maybe this brush will do better I don't know how my makeup, how my foundation is going to turn out. Also, my nose bump is finally gone. So, I've been wearing makeup over my nose. Hopefully, that doesn't make another bump come up. I don't know. We'll see. It's been gone for quite a while. It's not on some wood here. So I think it finally healed after like six or seven months. Okay, so a million years later, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's the only eyeshadow primer I've used in forever. So if you guys have any good ones, comment down below. So I'm not really for sure what eyeshadows I'm going to use today. I know I have some ColourPop ones that I'm excited to use. Um, I do know I'm just going to take this white shade from my Morphe 350 palette just because it's a good shade to set the whole eye over whole eye over with and i'm just using this really fluffy brush from bh cosmetics and i think there's this is the number for it I'm, it might just be a random number i'm not for sure but it's number 12 and it's super fluffy i use this usually just for it all over but sometimes i use it in my crease but today it's gonna be an all over shade and we're just gonna use this to set the whole eye I have a lot of orders coming in. I know I said this is going to be weight loss, but there's also just other stuff I want to talk about. So there might be a lot of chit chat. I don't know. We'll see when I edit this video. Um, but I have a lot of packages coming in and I'm super excited. I've kind of splurged my money because I've already bought everyone's Christmas presents. So had it. So we're going to go on with this. I'm going to take my Morphe. M441 brush. I like this brush a lot. It works great. La, 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 la. 
first color I'm gonna go in with is Frisk, which is this one right here. If I can get my brush in there, right there. I'm gonna try and stay in frame. I'm really bad at like getting out of focus. That's why I always look at my viewfinder all the time. And it gets kind of annoying when I'm editing because like I don't need to look at the viewfinder that much. I'm still in focus, but I'm just paranoid. Um, so I'm going to reroute this back to weight loss. That way, if anybody who's watching, they don't want to hear anything but weight loss, I'll tell you when I'm done talking about weight loss so you guys can just exit out once I'm done with weight loss or just fitness talk in general. So I'm going to get all my blabbering out about that right now. So basically, my plan was to start off my life back in my fitness lifestyle when I moved, which I moved like a month ago which I stuck with my plan so I'm really happy and basically if you guys did not watch my weight loss update a couple months back you guys can go watch that and I think I said I was gonna get a gym membership that didn't happen which if you watch my chit chat with Nat or something like that which was like a month ago I'll link that down below as well you guys will get all caught up on what's been going on so now I'm just gonna talk about what's going on what's happening here since I moved and I just now realized I think I use this color a lot when I do my chit chats so I'm really sorry if this looks as if this look is the same exact which it won't be because I'm using some new color pop stuff so and I'm really excited for the lips anyway back to weight loss so I moved here got my gym membership a week ago and I love it so much and I've been eating like I used to eat back when I lost all my weight. And honestly, I just feel so great. I, I My body just feels happier. I don't feel bloated all the time. I Like I was laying in bed last night or morning because it was like 2.30 a.m. After my shower, after my workout, and I feel so sore but so great. And this gym membership is hella expensive. So I'm definitely not going to stop, obviously. I still get those moments during the day where I'm like, oh my god, this is going to take forever. Why am I even doing this? But then I re-remember, like, girl, you did it before. You didn't even gain all your weight back. You just, I really just want to lose 35 pounds and I'll be happy. I mean, obviously that's not my goal weight, but that's what I was my junior year. So I want to get back to that and I'll feel great. Which my goal is to get back to that, like, around February or March, like, four months so March so we'll see if I make my way my goal you know what a palette I have not used forever and I know I haven't used in the video is my 88 color I haven't even looked at this in ages oh my goodness they're so tiny it looks like a taupey brown so I'm gonna start in the outer I'm gonna make more update videos later like I was gonna do a one month update so and also i'm gonna do some vlogs soon um i think i'm done talking about weight loss now i just basically wanted to update you guys on about my diet oh, my workout and just be excited be on the lookout for new weight loss videos i'm gonna go back in with this brush and just kind of blend the outer edges this really chocolatey brown color down here at the very bottom I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics polka dot set. These don't have a number or anything, but it's a really fluffy blending brush. And basically I'm just gonna pop that right here and just kind of like swirl it in the eye socket. Okay, so we're just gonna stick with that. It's a little sloppy right now, but I'll clean it up with my concealer. Yeah, the color catnap. So it's a really pretty color. I'm not really bringing my eyeshadow too high up. I've been doing that the past couple of videos. So I'm just kind of trying to <coughs> switch it up, which I said it doesn't look the best right now. So that's okay. I have too many ColourPop eyeshadows. Now I'm going to take this ColourPop eyeshadow in Cricut. Pretty color. And I'm going to basically just put this in the very outer, outer part because it's a very dark color. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Naked Skin Concealer. It's the only concealer I've been using. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to make the war paint, as my dad would say. 
you guys have not seen my dad does my voiceover video you guys should definitely do it it's really funny and uh, probably one of my favorite videos I've done that was so creepy my door just opened on its own and it was completely shut but it's because I have my window open I guess the air force was like like the force of the air um, now I'm gonna like go right here to clean up sort of that eyeshadow look so I'm gonna try and blend it out with this flat foundation concealer brush from BH Cosmetics and this is the number 130 so we'll see how this turns out. Last time I chatted with you guys, which was in my chit chat, get ready with me, I said I was probably gonna go to cosmetology school. I changed change of plans again. <laughs> um, at the moment, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do online college with the college here. That's like an hour away. The closest college and cosmetology school is 45 minutes to 50 minutes away. And since I'm still living with my parents, that is a really, that's a long commute for me. I mean, some people can do it, but I'm just not up for it. That's 45 minutes there and then 45 more back <coughs> and gas and all of that. I'm just like, no, thank you. So, and I, I, re I really always wanted to go to college, but it's not like breaking my heart that I'm not doing cosmetology school. I'm really excited to start college, but I'll be doing it online at home. And then I'm, not, I'm trying to get a job at the daycare that's like 10 minutes away. So I'm trying to get enrolled at the college for January and do online classes. So I'm really excited for that. Never done, I've done online in high school, but I've never just done fully online school, you know? So it'll be interesting. So I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. blush brush, but I never use it for blush, and I'm just gonna get right in this product to get a lot of it. And put this right under my eyes. Cause I'm really used to baking, but I'm gonna, I'm trying to do things different so it's not just the same. And I need to use these products anyway. So I'm not gonna bake, I'm just gonna put a crap ton of powder down there and then like blend it away. You know? And I'm gonna go ahead and take this on the same brush, cause why not, and just put it on the rest of my face. I really just do it the areas that I'm gonna contour cause it's always better to have a, product, a powder already down before you go in with your contour powder. Um, at least for me, I always find it to work that way, so I'm not going to put it, I was kind of everywhere, wasn't it? But, okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera, and uh, I switched up using the e.l.f. Where's the lid at? <coughs> I don't know where I put the lid at. Um, the e.l.f. brow pencil, this is in the color taupe. I actually ordered two different colors because this is a little too light for me. And I remember talking about it, how it's... Like, just get the Anastasia. Well, I kind of take that back because this is like a thicker tip and this is a more thinner tip. So this is easier to get a more precise look than this. But I can still work with this and still be happy about it because it's only $2. So, if you're looking for a brow, I suggest e.l.f. But this taupe is a little too light for me. So I did order two darker colors, but I'm going to go ahead and make it work for today. And I really honestly have no idea where I put that lid. Um, next, I'm going to do eyeliner, which I'm also not going to film this because this takes me a hot minute. And um, first, I'm going to tight line using Marc Jacobs. For eyeliner, I'm going to use a combination of uh, my Maybelline and my Essence waterproof eyeliner. So a mix between my Essence and my Maybelline Master Precise. And next, I'm going to do my lower lash line. And I'm very clean <clears throat> today, I guess. First of all, we're, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. smudge brush, which is full of product. You okay, guys can see that. And I'm going to go in with cover from the Naked 2 Basics palette right here. There was like 
image reflection and I'm going to smudge that under my lash line. I'm going to go in with this more precise brush from BH Cosmetics in number 132. And I'm going to go in with a darker color. I think I'm just going to use Undone from the Naked 2 Basics right here. I'm going to go ahead and go in with Marc Jacobs Eyeliner and go ahead and put this on my waterline. Which I don't do this often, but I've been starting to do it again lately, so I'm just going to go ahead and... apply this to my waterline. It makes my eyes a lot smaller. That's why I usually don't do it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it and have even smaller eyes today. So now for mascara, I'm going to change it up and use my waterproof voluminous carbon black by L'Oreal Paris. I said that completely backwards. Okay. And this, I just, I don't know how I feel about this because when I first used it months ago, it just it took way too long to dry and it smeared even though it was waterproof but we're gonna try it out again and I'm just gonna apply to my eyelashes I really want to do falsies but I just absolutely suck at doing false false eyelashes and I don't really have that many I ordered a couple more from elf and shop miss a they'll be here whenever my orders come in but the ones I have right now just do not look good with my eye shape. I don't know. They're like too big for my eyes. So we'll see. So every time I see my makeup and I have a mascara on, I'm like, that would look so much better if I had falsies or longer eyelashes because it just looks like there's nothing there. Okay. And you guys already know my love for One Tree Hill and I bought a sweatshirt from Etsy. I'll link it down below. It is the, if any of you guys watch One Tree Hill, listen. Okay. So I don't feel alone. Uh, but there's a sweatshirt that Lucas always wears. I'm going to find something to do so I'm not just rambling and not doing anything. Um, he wears this sweatshirt for Keith, which is his uncle in the show. And it's Keith's body shop and repair. And he wears it all the time in the show. And I was on Etsy a long, long time ago. Until I had the sweatshirt and I just finally bought it and I wear it a lot and we have a basketball hoop in my house now so I've been wearing playing basketball while wearing the hoodie and I'm like wow I'm a hardcore fan and uh, also he was having a campaign on his Instagram for like charity or something and he made up his own design for a sweatshirt and it's like it's you it's always been you with like a raven and the number three if you guys follow him on Instagram you know what I'm talking about and I've ordered that one as well so I'm going to be all One Tree Hill merged out because um, I've seen it three times. I've watched the whole series three times and I finished it for the third time like maybe, was it four months ago? It was August I think, September, October, November. So like three and a half months ago I finished it again but I'm already in the mood to watch it all over again which usually I wait a year because that's what happened like three times. I, watched, I waited a year in between each time. But I'm ready to watch it again. But speaking of TV shows, okay, now I'm gonna go with a bit better than the sex, better than sex mascara. I recently found a new TV show called Heart of Dixie. Which I'm pretty sure it's been on Netflix for quite a while as well. Um, I actually started watching it because I was on Twitter one night when I saw that Remy tweeted about it and I'm like you know I've seen that on Netflix and never really watched it before never really thought about watching it but then I was like you know I'll give it a chance and I found out my mom watched it so she's seen it all so I started watching it I'm like season two now and I really like it it's so cute and funny it's like a romance it's like a drama comedy it's really great I love it but so I've been really liking that lately um, next what I'm gonna do is this is not dried all the way so it's kind of making those marks in my eye but whatever. Oh it's falling. Ah! My life. My Shade and Light Kat Von D. I took a break from this for a while but I'm gonna go back to it because it's just the best thing ever. And I'm gonna take this really fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Doesn't have a name. And I'm gonna go in with this color right here and just bronze up slash contour the face. I 
I've been doing lately. I used to never contour the nose, except for special occasions. But I'm going with the very first shade I contoured with. And I'm still not very good at contouring my nose, but oh well. The more you practice, the better you get, right? Now I'm going to set my eyebrows real quick because I forgot to do that with the e.l.f. eyebrow gel. Best thing, best eyebrow gel ever. Only a dollar or two dollars, don't even know. I ordered like three of these with my e.l.f. order. Because I did Cyber Monday for e.l.f. because the whole store was 50% off. And I was like, hell yeah. So I just did that. Now for an inner corner highlight on my eyes. I'm going to take this ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Castle, I think. Yep, it looks so, so pretty. It's a really shimmery white color. So pretty. And I'm going to put that right. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. Do you see that? This is so pretty. This is what happens when I don't bake. My mascara smears, I swear. I swear. Like on the lower, not where I use the carbon. The one where I use the Better Than Sex which I know for a fact doesn't smear. Go back in with my favorites. I've been switching up my blushes because I used the same ones forever, but I'm gonna go back to it. It's the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Celebrated. This stuff is my favorite. Absolutely, absolutely, what is that? Absolutely favorite blush. And I'm gonna go with this Beige Cosmetics brush from the Polka Dot set and I'm going to apply this highlight let's go ahead and do the highlight i'm really excited because i'm going to try out a different highlight today highlighter in stole the show and i used to use sponges with these highlighters but i've i got this brush in my ipsy bag it's the luxie 524 t brush and it's like a stippling brush and it works really good for these highlights so that's what i've been doing and i'm just gonna oh it's so pretty I love ColourPop highlighters. I, this is my third one that I own now. And they never fail. They are the bomb. I'm going to take my Naked 2 palette and go in with Verve. On that brush I used for the, ver for the very first eyeshadow we used. I'm going to apply that over my highlight. Oh. oh my god, I feel like heaven is just shining on my face right now. Um, I'm going to take this Indie Beauty Buttercream Lip Scrub. This is the best lip scrub in the world. I got it in my Ipsy bag and I'm going to repurchase it when it's all gone. It is amazing. It smells and tastes good. And it makes your lips so soft. Mm. Um, Rimmel London lasting finish lip liner in the color wine and i'm just gonna outline and i do overline sometimes it looks good sometimes it doesn't oh well i found the color i wanted the color i wanted was creeper and this is like such a bright red and i'm so excited for this okay oh we're gonna see if it matches are you guys ready for this because i'm not it totally doesn't match, but whatever. I also ordered a teeth whitening kit, so I'm super excited for that. Because I brush my teeth and everything, but my teeth are just not white. Like, I don't know. I'm going to apply this off camera as well because I suck at applying it on camera. So, I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so the tutorial, or not really tutorial, the look is complete. My hair looks like a frizzball. I'm so sorry. But this is the lip. I absolutely love this. These are so great. There's no stickiness whatsoever. They are matte, so I love these. I need to go buy more, and I bought like eight. So that shows how much I love it. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat, rambly, talk through video, the most messy video I've ever filmed. So it's going to be great editing this. Um, there's a lot of videos I'm going to be filming and I'm really excited because YouTube is just such a big passion of mine. It's my hobby. I love it. So be on the lookout. So I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.